All right. right. So first thing we're going to do is work on the corn puree. So we have uh, just a little bit of uh, local Jersey corn. If you could take that off the cob for me, sure would be awesome. And I will take the onion and start that aspect of it. And then there you go. So just need a little bit of red onion, that corn. And again, we're going to puree this. So, you know, the, the knife cuts aren't all that important. So probably about a quarter of a red onion. Okay. And then we're going to just get a sauce pot going. Drop a little bit of butter inside of that, sweat all our ingredients out. So is this going to act as like a condiment? It's going to act as a condiment, almost like a sauce a little mm -hmm. bit as well. So. Do you save the cob? We, in this case, uh, I would in the restaurant, but for this case, we don't need it. Okay. So that is uh, trash. So we're just going to sweat out just in a little bit of whole butter, the onion, a couple cloves of garlic. Just let, let that soften up a little bit, a little bit of salt. I love these Mexican potatoes. Yeah, I mean, they're good for any time of year. I mean, you know, it could be light in the summertime. It could be heavy in the wintertime. If you wanted to, you know, for the summer, use fish. If you wanted to do something a little bit heavier in the wintertime, you can obviously substitute pork. So, so we'll always just, substitute pork. Uh, yeah, pork <laughs> makes everything better, right? So we can add that corn. So we're just going to sweat that out a little bit. We're going to add a tiny bit of water to that. Okay, so you don't really want any color. No, no color. Probably about six, six eight ounces of water. Okay, a good bit. Yep. And then uh, about two, three ounces of cream. We'll just let that cook I'm going to cook till everything's soft. Yeah, till everything's soft, and then we're going to blend it up. The corn is ready to go. We're Great. going to put that in here. That's going to act as uh, another kind of sauce element. So just now we have to be a little bit careful because we're blending something that's hot. Yes. So we need to pulse it and be careful, not go too high up in the blender. Otherwise, um, it'll be on the ceiling and hot, hot, yeah, hot corn uh, liquid will be all over us. And that's not going to be a good time for anybody. So we'll just pulse that. Once, you know, and then once it pulses, then we can turn it on and let it go. And we're going to let this blend probably for about a minute or two so it's very, very nice and smooth. Okay. So, perfect. Back. Okay. So, that's awesome. So, so, that corn is done. Let's take that corn out of here and into this bowl. So, nice, beautiful, beautiful corn sauce. Okay. Mm. And then that's got enough residual heat that we'll be, uh, be okay for a couple minutes to just. Yeah, give it a taste if it needs a little bit of seasoning. Awesome. Okay. Mm, so. It's really good. 